एडमिन एल टी थ्री प्रैक्टिकल इंटीग्रेशन विथ एंगुलर टेन एप्लीकेशन वेलकम टू कोडिंग बुक गाइज दिस इज चंद्रेश्वरियानी एंड ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी आई एम ऑलरेडी ऑन द एडमिन एल टी थ्री वेबसाइट राइट नाउ इट प्रोवाइड्स दिस थ्री ब्यूटिफुल डैशबोर्ड्स सो वॉट वी विल डू वी विल इंटीग्रेट दिस विद आर एंगुलर टेन एप्लीकेशन ऑल द कंट्रोल्स विच यू कैन सी राइट नाउ वेदर दे आर चार्ट वेदर दिस थीम्स or the message box notification this effect or any controls widgets calendar uh, general control charts everything anything which you want to use you can use in your angular 10 application once we'll implement this just for the uh, overview i already have implemented this in uh, angular 10 application which is running on local host 4200 and you can see that has been already integrated but i will not make use of this application let me clo close this rather i will do it from scratch so you do not need to worry we will do step by steps from the start okay so these and another thing is you can achieve this simply in five steps now let's start uh, before you start i would be using visual studio code if you do not have that you can simply download from this location once it is download we can uh, follow the steps the first step is that you need to install the angular cli latest version yes make sure you should install angular cli latest version and this is the command if you have already installed this then you need to at first upgrade this angular cli and then you can continue so since i have already uh, installed this admin lt maybe we can now make sure that i have the latest version with ng hyphen hyphen version command you can see we have angular cli 10.2 that is the latest one so let me close this what as what is my second step second step is just to create a new application with this command now for that just go to your location where do you want to create your application so this is the location i'll be creating cmd just to open the command prompt to that location and run this command maybe i can name it ng oh sorry my admin lt3 demo app, right press enter now when i press enter it would ask me few options like do you do I, do i want the routing yes now the frameworks see we now we don't only work on css we have sas sas less etc so you can choose accordingly whichever you want uh, or you are comfortable and you want for your application so i am comfortable with sas so i'm going with sas any framework you choose does not affect uh, our implementation okay now this installation of package would take around 5 or 10 minutes so meanwhile uh, i will uh, pause the video and will resume when once it installs uh, just a second okay so now you can see it has successfully installed right so i can close this go back to my location here we have my admin lt3 demo app so first thing you would notice this is the your node modules so here will be our second step we need to now install the node modules now let go let's go back to that uh, screen so we have uh, completed second step then is installed admin lt3 with this command so let me copy this command and come back to the location admin lt again open a command prompt i have closed that run this command admin npm install admin lt Three. So with this command, it will install the admin lt three to our local Angular ten application. Now again, uh, this command would take around a uh, few minutes actually. So I'm going to pause the video once again. Okay, welcome back. So it has installed the admin lt lt three. Uh, now let's verify this by going back in the node modules and look for admin lt. Okay, you can see we have this admin lt with us now. Let's run the application. And to run the application again, oh sorry, move to your uh, location. Again, open command prompt and write code dot. So this would open your code in Visual Studio Code which you have installed. Now you can see we have our files here. Now at first, open the terminal, and I am going to build the application at first just to make sure. Uh, everything is fine although this is the default template created by admin lt3 and it should work or it should build fine but just to uh, make sure i'll rebuild this so i think let me uh, pause the video once again it will take some time it is compiling zero percent compiling let me pause it perfect so it has built successfully 
okay now let's uh, run the application as well at first uh, see what we have in a default application and we serve hyphen hyphen open so with this command it will open our application again let me pause okay it says port is already in use as we know that 4200 is running my old application so maybe we can provide 4300 port it should open in 4300 now i think it compiled successfully now it should open in 4300 okay we have this application so you can see that is the default application ng build is successful ng serve is successful now let's begin with our integration so what is my next step next step is verify package.json uh let's move to the package dot package package.json and to do so uh control p and that's a shortcut let me minimize this and zoom a bit if i can okay so now uh, here is our uh, admin ld3 which we just want to verify we have then what is next uh, we actually already have uh, seen that choose admin ld okay now from the admin ld screen you need to at first select which dashboard do you want dashboard 1 dashboard 2 or dashboard 3 so maybe let's suppose uh, i want to integrate this dashboard 2 okay we have finalized what next angular json entries okay now what you need to do open your uh, view actually right click on the page and click on view page source now to implement this design this admin lt is making use of some css and javascript files right now the javascript and the css file now we already have in our application once we when we installed our admin lt so in the node module we have all the css and javascript now we need to provide the path so this is a css one two three you can see three css it is using and if i look for the js i should see in the bottom okay these are the js which this admin lt is making use of similarly if you would have uh, gone for other dashboard let's suppose at dashboard three click on view page source you might see few different css okay here we are and few might be different js okay we have like this dashboard three this time but we are going to implement the dashboard too so since let's focus on the here now the first see uh, okay now to change the path we need to go a file to a file which is called angular.json file and here you can see we have styles and the script here is the location where you we need to update the path you might uh, get confused with the style in script but make sure that you are not changing in the test one rather you are changing in the application one so that is our style and scripts okay so the, our first script is like all dot min dot css and the location is plugin font or some free css so let's first of all make sure do we have this at local we should be having go to your node modules go to your admin lt then after the admin lt it says uh, in the plugins in the font or sums so let's open our plugins then maybe font awesome okay what next after that go to css and all min so css we have this file perfect now what we want we will just copy the path now we know that we already have okay so go to your styles and a comma and paste it here. sorry in double quotes paste it here perfect since let's see the location so location is src so our location would be oh sorry our path would be node modules which we can find at the root so this should be our file node modules plugin font awesome, and css now if you look for the another css similarly we need to copy this size css and then this css and at last we need to copy these js files in the js1 just to save the time i already have the scripts with me so this is the style and this is the script maybe i can directly copy the css so maybe i can replace this you can see we have we have this font uh, sorry all dot min then overlay scroll bar and admin lt3 after that these are the js file so let me 
copy once again these JS file and paste it, paste it in the script folder. Perfect. Now what next? Next is uh, style in CSS we have updated. Okay. Now the next step is we need to go to our index.html file. So in the index.html file, you would notice we have this app root and here is the body class. Now I'm going to admin LT uh, page source and see what we have in the body. So in the body, we have this class. That's a really important uh, step and we should never miss because the internal CSS only would work perfectly only would work if you, you know, follow this pattern. So at first copy the class in the body tag, all the classes. And once they are copy, you need to copy the rest of the code. So very carefully, you should be doing this and copy it till here. Maybe I can take this wrapper as well. Now next is go to your app.component.html. So this was the default UI, which we, which we were looking. Now uh, delete everything except this router and paste this here. Perfect. After that, the only issue you might face is of uh, maybe let first of all go of the path of this images. You need to provide the correct path as well. So first thing with what you should do, you should look for the image where exactly this image is. So go to your admin LT project, then in the node module, then uh, uh, in the admin LT, then in the dist folder and in the images folder. You can see we have the images here. So we ne we never actually provide the path from this location. Rather, we copy those images to our to our uh, asset folder idly. So let's copy the image folder. Go back to your application. Click on this uh, admin LT. Go for SR. Sorry, not for the SR. Yep, SRC assets and paste it here. So we have the images now here. Perfect. Okay. This was the dist folder and this is the SRC folder where we have copied our images. Perfect. Now SRC and assets, maybe I can copy the path. Uh -uh. Okay, so this is the dist and let me make sure I enter the right path. Okay, so a path should be SRC. Not SRC control Z, our path should be like this assets and image. Uh, maybe what I can do so there it is, it is at so many locations. Uh, maybe let me control Z and control H and paste it control Y and replace at all the location. Perfect. So, guys, uh, we have successfully. Uh, implemented this uh, sorry updated the path to every location uh, let's go back to our steps uh, what next we have copy the image replace path grid you should be good so let's uh, open our terminal once again and in the terminal maybe stop the application by pressing ctrl c uh, We should rebuild this once again since we have changed in package.json file oh, sorry not in the angular.json file and some in the app component so let's build let me pause it once again in 93% build has been done still waiting for the output okay it has uh, built successfully now again to ng serve hyphen hyphen open maybe I can change the port one more time 4400 press enter pause it Okay, 93% su succeeded, still waiting. So guys, I'm just pausing and uh, resuming the vi video just because that we do not unnecessarily record anything and it just saves us our time. So compiled successfully. Now, if we have configured everything correctly, then we should see everything uh, perfectly working here. Let's hope for the best. Uh, it is still loading. Perfect. We have we have everything. I think. Let me click on this carefully. Yes, we have implemented the JS as well. Let me click on this effect as well. 
yes this is also working fine for us and we have the data available so that's all thank you very much for watching this video i hope uh, uh, it must be working for you as well and uh, if you have followed the same steps and if not uh, then uh, you can always let me know i'll be happy to help you uh, in order to you know configure this even uh, sometimes what will happen uh, while configuring some of the maybe chart or any any wizard that might give you some uh, trouble so if you're facing any face if, if you face any trouble you can let me know uh, in the comments i'll i'll uh, i'll try to help you over there